Oh no. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go straight into. You can you can ignore that. Cops got called. All right. So uh, I'm gonna put this guy in the ground, tie him up. I'm gonna put the drill down here on this safe. Oh, it's yeah. safe. Okay. And base. What should I be doing right now? Well, you want to smash these cases open and start taking the jewelry out. Even though the cops have come, the main objective does not change. We still want to grab as much jewelry as possible. Yoink. I'm just going to go out here and just uh, make sure you're covered. Oh, crap. I'm not spec for this. Hey, there's SoCal. Yes. So I think this room is cleared Probably. out. Probably. Awesome. You might want to come out front. Okay, so... John, over here. Do you see that orange outline of the drill to your left? You want to yes. get to that and fix it up. Uh, you also have your assault rifle. You can switch to that by pressing C. Restarting the drill. Listen, the drill has jammed. We must fix the fucking thing. It takes, it takes a little while to restart. It does indeed. There. Yeah. It's going. Great. Now, do I have to, like, sit by it, or do I... No, no, you don't have to sit by it. I would have you actually come out to the front room, because there are lots of cops, and they just rolled out their only armored force. So it turns out I'm mistaken. There are SWAT-esque forces here, but they're not the... SWAT cops that you might be familiar with. Oops, wrong button, I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. If you press F at your uh, allies, then you'll call for them. So if you get downed, for example, you might want to uh, press F. All right. Also, people watching, they might notice some disparity between the I fiddled with the keys a bit, so people watching, they might notice some disparity between what Nick... Oh, there's a hand go... There's a ghost! <laughs> I, there may be some disparity between what Nick says and what you see on the screen, because I remapped some of the keys a bit. Alright, I'm hurt. How do I... Re how do I... Can I recover? Oh, you're not hurt. So the green bar in the oh. bottom uh, right hand, or bottom left, I forget which one, because I have an, uh, uh, a HUD update. There's the green bar, and then there's the clear bar around that green bar. The green bar is your health, the clear bar is your armor. The armor passively regenerates, and the clear bar, uh, the green bar is your health, and the only way that regenerates is if you use med kits or, or doctor bags. jewelry as possible. Yeah, I've been grabbing some. So these duffel bags I put on the ground are bags full of jewelry and we need to bring those to the escape van. Right now there's a police raid going on though so that's going to be kind of difficult. To say the least. I like this music. Oh yeah. The payday music uh, is all custom composed for the game specifically. And they work really hard on it. The early Payday uh, songs are pretty good, but the later update songs are just phenomenal. Eh, yeah, <laughs> You know you can get a Chicago typewriter. Awesome. I owe it to myself to do so and so. I think if you, were, if you join the Payday 2 community, you can unlock it for free. I don't think you can use it until a specific level, though. 
So now what is it we're supposed to do with those bag? Those so you see bags? to the right there's that little bag marker, and it says uh, like 30 yes. meters or so. That is yeah. the escape area. So what we want to do is bring as many of these bags to the escape as possible. So at the top you'll see that the uh, police bar kind of stopped moving. That means the police raid is done. So there's not going to be any more police until they get ready for the next raid. Okay. So they got the, like we've got time before we Yeah. Sure. So what you want to do for right now is kind of move down the street with a bag or oh man. How do I pick up a bag? Uh, your interact button. It should be F for something. Oh, I'm already carrying one of those jewelry cases. Okay. Me, I guess. Yes, you are. Ow! So, yeah. I, okay, I've been separated from the group. Down this way, John. Also, oh, out, I'm out. I'm out. My rifle's empty. Okay, this way. All right, I've got my, got my sidearm. So you wanna? You can press shift to sprint. I don't know if you can sprint. Oh, come on, really? Can I? Uh... Yeah, you can help me up. There you go. How the hell did you end up going down before me? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, moving around. You're the, one, you're the one who's actually taking a lot of bullets. Ow! All right, so where do we? Okay. Oh, we want to pile the, the stuff into yes. the van. And it's going to be especially helpful right now while um, there's limited recovery. Okay. Okay. Cool. I, I threw. I threw that. Yeah. Over here. All right. So now we can leave. Yeah, or we can stay behind, get a little bit more money. The more, see, now that we've completed the the standard objectives, any money we get now will go straight into our pockets. Oh shit! A lot of copies. Yep, that should be everything. So if you stay by this white thing right here, it will. There we go. Okay. All right. A success. Despite my accidentally turning, accidentally failing to, uh, un 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 unintentionally just putting my mask on right in front of that security guard while he was watching, then thus forcing me to just shoot him a bunch of times. <laughs> it was all right. You did pretty good. Thirty thousand for completing the contract. Get back its total value. Of she get like loose items and cash sent to offshore account 176,000 available and change in available spending cash 44,000 now what does that mean some of your so uh, with your, about 85% of the money that you get from these heists will go directly to your offshore account uh, which is a good move in the criminal world but that means that we get less money to play with okay uh, so the so so you can't use that to like buy gear. No, you can't use it to buy gear. You can use it to buy contracts. So uh, if you were looking for a specific contract, you remember when you look at CrimeNet, how the things are constantly shifting? Yeah. Uh, when you get to higher levels, uh, there are a lot of contracts that are very dangerous you want to take, but you might be looking for a specific one. Uh, you can buy that contract with your offshore account. And then when you reach rank 100, if you have 200 million in your offshore account, you can use that to, to um, become infamous. And becoming infamous gives you bonus skills, uh, cheaper uh, skill costs, and bonus XP. I'm up to level 5. Nice. Now. And I unlocked the uh, a new rifle and the... the, the some sort of entrenching tool, the KLAS shovel yes. there. Yes. Unlocked a couple different things there. And so the nope. the payday... Now it's asking me to pick yes. a card. So you can get a bonus item. So you could have gotten bonus XP or a, a pattern there. Oh, you still got a pattern. A material, rather. Gauge weapon pack number one. Yes. So you can use those to customize masks. Oh, cool. So in your inventory, you can go all the way to the right and say, click. Just a moment. I'm checking the video options okay. here. Um, okay. Is it the streaming chunk kilobytes? Like what? Would I if I wanted to like prevent that screen tearing, but I turn that up or down? Uh, let me see. Where do you see screen chunk? 
It's in the advanced video options. Um, you want to have that up. Higher? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's actually already added to maximum. Yeah, value. usually it is. Uh, you might maybe try... Oh, I wait, I don't have V-Sync okay, on. Okay, there it is. I am a stupid, stupid no. man. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about there it. There we go. Okay, V-Sync is now on. All right. So why don't you go to your skill tree? So skills and uh, perks. And pick out something that you think sounds fun. There's the fugitive technician, enforcer, mastermind. Skill tree. I honestly, after my performance last time, I don't see myself as the mastermind type. <laughs> uh, you can take a. There's no restriction, so buying into one skill tree doesn't. Okay. Preclude you from the others. So if you really wanted, you could be like a ghost technician, become be okay. stealthy because the, there are skills that overlap. So the technician, for example, um, is in charge of the drills, like drilling the safe open. But if you uh, spec into ghost and technician, you can get the silent drills, which means you can drill oh. safes open, and there will be no noise. So you could hit like a really big bank or something. And well, I have five skill points available. I'm going to, I'm going to unlock Enforcer. Okay. So that gives you the ammo bag. I'll just be the violent. I'll be the violent thug of the group. <laughs> okay, now I can see. Oppressor. Weapons are more effective at threatening enemies. Okay, so there's like sort of like a psychology thing. Yes. So, uh, one of the elements of um, panic is you can use uh, certain weapons to intimidate enemies. Uh, civilians have a threat of zero, I think. So anytime you okay. see them with, anytime you have a weapon out, they will duck and they'll be scared okay. and listen to whatever you say. But you can intimidate. Can you like intimidate like the cops yes. as well, potentially? So the higher up you go in the co in the tree, so the the higher the law enforcers, the more threatening they are and the less willing they are to surrender so if you have some perks and a really scary weapon then they'll surrender to you and you can get them to cuff themselves and you can use them to trade for hostage negotiation so if you get arrested you can tr you can trade like, try to like work out a prisoner yes. exchange oh. um, or if you get the right skill tree you can convince them to fight for you All right, so let's see. I can transporter move fifty percent faster when carrying bags. That seems pretty cool. Bullet storm directly after you deploy an ammo bag, you can fire your weapon for five seconds without depleting your ammo. Or oppressor, your weapons are twenty five percent more effective at threatening enemies. Mm -hmm. Tra transporter sounds handy. It is. Can grab that. And you can buy the skill again. That's called acing it, and that gives you a bonus ability. So acing it you would let you. You can throw bags 50% further if I got ace. Yes. That. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oops. So I feel like it's messed up. Okay, so he's, he's about to find it. And like I said, if you wanted to buy into one of the other skill trees, you, st you absolutely can. Increase your stamina. Is that like for sprinting and stuff? Yes. That's in the mastermind tree. I don't want to get that. Because I'm, I'm violent and brutish, but I'm also cowardly, so being able to run at high speeds would come in handy. Definitely. Okay, now. I think I have one point left. Let's see. Let's get a presser. 25% more effective at threatening enemies. Now, what is this perk deck thing? What? Oh, something's, something's XP still not to perk conversion. So it's going to convert all the XP you've got to your perk points. And buying perk points lets you, say, uh, get modest little perks. So for crew chief, the first one is you can get 10% more health. Uh, same for muscle. Armor gives you extra armor. Uh, no, I have eighty. I have eighty-eight perk points. Let now. me see how much these cost. 
uh, you do not have enough to get a skill. Okay. Oh well. Yeah. So, when you're ready, you can pick the next uh, contract. <laughs>